Hi guys. Hey guys. So it's Luce and Nick from We The Wild Ones. Obviously. And we are here today with Jim Beam and we are kicking off the very first interview of the welcome sessions. Number one for us, we are interviewing the boys from Fontaine's DC. So if you haven't heard of Fontaine's DC, they are an incredible post-punk band based in Ireland. DC, Dublin City. So we're going to be changing the boys about a lot of things, but especially one of the very pivotal moments in their career when they sold out their very first live show, which is where they've gone back to film their welcome sessions. It's a really amazing interview. These guys are incredible. They've been nominated for Grammy Awards. They've been on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, they've done all the things. They're done amazing. The things. Without further ado, let's bring them in. I was not born into this world, so no one So can you tell us about like why the Lexington is so special to you guys? Lexington is like the first venue we sold out. Wow. In in London. In the UK, I think, man. I think it was, yeah. What did that feel like, guys, um, to sell out your very first show? Yeah, like? what a vibe. It was really interesting because we, we had it sold out and we, are, we already had the next show sold out, the next show in London. So there was kind of this feeling of being in a rocket that was shaking as it was about to take off, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you guys have come a long way since then. You were nominated really? for a Grammy and... Been on Jimmy Fallon. Do you ever just pinch yourself? Uh, yeah, I've plenty of people around me <laughs> well, we think it's exciting regardless. And so things have obviously changed a lot for you guys since COVID. So you were touring before COVID? Yeah, yeah, we were. Okay. How did it feel to just have to stop? It's funny, COVID, COVID came at a time for us where, you know, it was, it was completely necessary for us to take a break, really. You know, we, we were running on empty. I remember our last show in Brixton in London was kind of, it was the high point, but also very much the kind of the final point of, of that whole, it bookended that whole era of touring. And I kind of told myself that it was the last gig I was going to do on such little sleep. Well, it must feel good that now that things are coming back to go back to kind of, you know, your roots, back to the Lexington, back to where it all kind of started. Very symbolic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's all we have at this point in time, isn't it? Symbolism, you know, being in that iconic venue, just so full of kind of uh, memory and, 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 and specifically the kind of memory that we crave and gives us a sense of meaning, which is, you know, the fact that we are, this is what we do, this is what gives us a sense of purpose. Wow. I bet. And so your new release, I Was Not Born, that's being exclusively streamed um, at Jim Beam Welcome Sessions. Tell us about that. It was written unnecessarily, you know, there's no, there's no kind of like, uh, there's no brief, there's no um, sense of like time pressure for us to write anything other than our first album. Um, but we ended up just writing our second album because it gave us a sense of purpose and freedom. And so that's where that song was born from. And the sentiment being not born into this world to do another man's bidding. It's not just like a kind of like a cliche punk statement about like on, on my own person. It, it was kind of more a spiritual autonomy that we were in search of, you know. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's well, amazing. guys, thank you so much for um, spending some time with us today and chatting us about the Jim Beam Welcome Sessions. We can't wait for can't you wait guys to, to come to Australia. Woo! Yeah, we'll see you guys here in December. Yeah, yeah. looking forward to it. Thank you. Have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye. We are back um, for the second interview that we are doing with the Jim Beam Welcome Sessions. And today we have someone that I'm personally very excited about. Nick is. We have Jose Gonzalez, who, if you guys don't know him, he is a Swedish singer songwriter. So tell us about your new release, Valle Local. So that's being exclusively streamed at the Welcome Sessions, isn't it? So it's a title track from the album, and the album is called Local Valley. And the, the track is in Spanish, so Valle Local. And it's uh, one of my favorite songs on the album in terms of uh, riff inspired by Western African guitar playing. So tell us about the venue as well, like in the significance it has to you. So Michel Berger Hotel is where I've been staying almost all the times so when I'm in Berlin. And it's a hotel which is very sort of creative and, and they love musicians, so they treat you very well. <laughs> are back for another episode of Jim Beam Welcome Sessions. Well, we've been so fortunate tonight to be able to chat with the guys from Wolf Alice. Hi, we're Wolf Alice. (laughs) 
How is it over there for you guys at the moment? So you said you're kind of out and about. Uh, currently, we're able to play shows, not even social distance. We just did Reading and Leeds Festival, which is like two of the biggest festivals here in the country, which is amazing. And we managed to headline Latitude Festival back in July and play a headline show in Bournemouth, which was bonkers. And do you guys plan on coming to Australia anytime soon? Is there any future trips you've got planned over here? I think we do have plans, unannounced plans. I think we will be coming over as soon as we can. Ooh. There is... Is that, is that a cheeky hot tip? <laughs> yeah, why not? Exclusive to the Wild Ones.